Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Friday's maths meeting. So in today's session, we're going to be recapping our new calculation symbol we've been working on this week. We're going to be looking at our number bonds to five again using the Numicon and also having a go at writing number 10. So you will need your thinking brain, you will need your exercise book and your pencil, and if it helps you, some circles and some objects to help you with your number bonds to five when we're doing our addition calculations. Okay, so maths meeting open. So this is our uh, calculation symbol we've been working on this week. So tell your grown up, what does that mean? That's right, it means add. Now, some of the other words we might use when we're adding uh, are, you might hear people say plus instead of add. That means exactly the same thing. We're talking about the numbers that come after. We're counting on. We're working out what the number, the numbers that are more than. We're, far, we're counting forwards on our number line. The value will be increasing and we're also finding out how many there are all together. Okay, so now we're going to look at some uh, Numicon to work out our number bonds up to five. Okay, so this one's a little bit trickier today. We've got a missing number problem. Okay, so we start with a number. We need to work out how many we're going to add to that number to make five. Okay, so with your objects, you need to make sure you have one, two, three, four, five objects or five counters and your two circles and this will really help you okay don't have more than five or less than five so you need to have five because that's our total how many we know we need all together okay so the first um addition equation that we need to work out is two add something equals five okay so two add something equals Five. We need to work out what that missing number is. Now, one way to do it is to look at our counters and see how many we're going to put into that first circle. That's right, we need to put in two into that first circle. Two add something equals five, because this is a bit like our um, addition equation. We could put an add there, couldn't we? And that would help us. So two add something. That's right, it was three because we can see we've got three left here. One, two, three. So we know that two add three equals five. Let's always check. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Okay, so let's just check we've got that right. That's right, two add three equals five. Okay, the next one has one add something equals five. Okay, so can you use your counters to work out how many counters go in this circle and what our addition equation would be? We've got one add something equals five. So just stop the video and have a little practice of that one yourself. Work out what our missing number would be. What do we add to number one to make five? That's right. So we had one on this side and then you look to see how many counters you've got left. One, two, three, four. Let's check it adds up to five. One, two, three, four, five. So one add four equals five. Okay, if you got that right, give yourselves, oh, what should we do? Let's give yourself a lorry driver. Honk, honk. Okay, so let's check our answer. It was one add four equals five. Okay, right, the next one, let's have a look at this one. So this one says five, that's our number five Numicon, add something equals five. What is our missing number 
there. Okay, so remember to use your um, counters if you've got them. So how many do you need to put on this side? That's right, you need to put five. One, two, three, four, five. Can you write down in your books the addition equation for this one? Okay, so five add, put your answer there, equals five. That's right, it was five add zero equals five. So if you got that right, give yourself or oh, racing driver. Okay, so let's double check our answer. That's it, five add zero equals five. Okay, this time we've got some different numbers. Let's put what we've got into our number sentence. So we have three add something equals five. So how many do how many counters do we need to put in this one? We need to put in three. Okay. Can you work out how many uh, of your counters go on this side and write down the addition equation in your books? That's right. It was one, two. Let's check that makes five altogether. One, two, three, four. Five. So it was three add two equals five. If you got that right, give yourself a lollipop. Lolly, 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 pop. Very good. Let's check our answer. It was, it was three add two equals five. Okay, right. Oh, different one, this one. Let me rub this off and write what we've got on the screen. So the first number is zero. Zero add something equals five. So how many counters need to go in that first circle? That's right, zero. Okay. Can you work out how many of your counters need to go into the next one? What's our missing number? What's the missing number that you add to zero to get five? That's right, it was all the rest of them, wasn't it? So one, two, three, four, five. So our answer was zero add five equals five. Have a go at writing that down in your book. Checking our answer, yes, zero add five equals five. Okay, now this one is a little bit different, says what, uh, can you work out which number shape is missing? So we need to click on the correct number shape to, to complete the number sentence. So this one says four add something equals five. Four add something equals five. Okay, so let's do exactly what we did before. So how many do we need to put in our first circle? That's right, we need to put four. One, two, three, four. So how many are in the other circle to make it add up to five? Four add one, that's right, equals five. Very good. Okay, we've got another one here. This one says, Two add something equals five. So in this side, how many do we need to put on this side? We need to put two counters. Two counters on this side. And then how many counters go on this side? Is it going to be three, one, or four? Two add what equals five? Let's check. So we've got two on this side. You put your other counters on this side. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five all together. So two add three equals five. So our missing number is three. Well done. 
Right, and then can we work out which number shape is missing this time? So this time the addition equation is zero at something equals five, okay? So zero means nothing. So we need to put none of our counters, no counters in that first one. So that means all of our counters need to go in this one. Can you write down the number sentence for this one? That's right, you should have written down zero add five equals how many altogether? Five. Very good. So our missing number was number five. Okay, right. For the last bit of our maths meeting, we're going to be uh, practicing writing number 10. Let me just find where that is. Okay, so listening to the number rhyme and drawing it in the air, and then we'll have a go at writing it in your books. So number 10, draw a one and a zero. You've made 10, you superhero. Draw a one and a zero. You've made 10, you superhero. So stop the video there and have a practice of writing number 10. Okay, right, maths meeting closed. So join me in the next video where we're gonna be learning some more about nine and 10. I'll see you soon, bye-bye.